Hi guys, in today's tutorial I will show you how to make a forward and backward speed ramp in After Effects, let's begin. There are several types of forward and backward speed ramps and today I will show you the one that I make almost in my every edits. First let's right click on the clip, go to time and select enable time remapping. Now by moving this time forward I will choose the beginning of my clip, and once it's fine, we can scroll forward and then move the time forward as well. So now we have made a simple speed ramp that goes to one direction and to make it go reverse, we can simply copy that first keyframe and paste it a few frames further. But what if we go forward again and create a better speed ramp? Let's scroll forward again and move the time forward as well and choose the ending of a speed ramp. So now we have a double forward speed ramp and now let's make it reversed. I will scroll forward again and then copy that first keyframe and paste it right there. Now I will cut the rest of the clip, cause I don't need it anymore. Now select all keyframes and press F9 on a keyboard to easy ease them. Then go to graph editor, right click here and select edit value graph and then make a smooth curve. Once the curve is all smoothed out, close graph editor and then let's check the speed ramp. Nice, it looks fine and now let's enable frame blending on that clip, click here twice until you see an arrow. The speed ramp is done, but let's also stabilize the video as well. First make sure to pre-compose that clip, otherwise you won't be able to use stabilize motion. Make sure move all attributes and adjust composition duration is selected and then hit OK. Now click on stabilize motion. I will stabilize and lock on the wheel, so I will drag track point on the wheel and then make track point slightly larger. Now click on options here and make sure to select RGB and then check adapt feature on every frame and then hit OK. Click on analyze forward button and wait until it's done. Once it's done, click on apply here and then hit OK. We can now close tracking window and check the video. Nice, the speed ramp is stabilized and looks smoother, but we have to fix those black edges now, simply press S on a keyboard and scale the video until you don't see black edges. Once you are satisfied with it, enable proportional grid from here and center the clip, in my case I want the wheel to be centered so I will correct it and we are done. Hope this video was helpful, thanks for watching and like the video please.